Hello, this is Bombay Jake. Welcome to another Minecraft PC video. Today, I'm going to be showing you something which I have been doing lately. So, recently, I signed up for this thing called Code Kingdoms, and I and basically teaches you how to code in Java, which is the code method that Minecraft is written in. And I've spent the last couple of days messing around, making a few random things. So just click that. I, I, yeah, whatever. Um, so I'm going to be showing you. I've been, I've made a few things, and I want to show you what they are today. So first of all, what I've got is I've got this OP sword. You see, it has sharpness, not that far off, and looting. And I've got it so it automatically goes through. I clear my inventory, put the server, join the server again. See, I automatically have another one. I have two for some reason. Huh? I'm on the merry, I guess. Alright. Um, now, another thing I've got is so when you left click, it gives you jump boost for five seconds. It comes up saying jumpy jumpy. So, that's and then I click it again, and boy. And again, boy. Oh no, I miss. Um. So I'm going to show you the basically the coding. So if I go over to my browser, so you see this is the code kingdom editor. Now, what's cool is you can start from just dragging and dropping things from the sidebar. Just dragging into there. So and I drop, but then you can see I drag the slide with it on. It then this is what it looks like an actual Java text. Bit laggy. Can you just refresh that? So what I was saying, so I can make it. So it looks. This is what it looks like in normal Java text, and this is what it looks like in the Dragon Jaw. <coughs> so as for the sword, so this is what it says. So on join, it creates this new variable called new stick, and it creates a new item stack for that stick. So basically, this stick equals a diamond sword. The name of it is the OP sword. As you can see, it's called the OP sword. <coughs> and you can see I've got these, I've got damage all these basically sharpness, but I don't know why it's called damage all, but yeah. Fire aspect not back and loot as well. And basically so it does all of this on joy so it creates this item of joy and it also adds it to the inventory, which is how I have got it in my inventory. Now as for the other no Um, and as for the other jump boost, that's really smart. Easy to do. On left click, apply potion effect, jump boost, and send the message, which goes. Which I don't know why it's saying it twice. It's a bit weird, but yeah, I, really, I, I actually don't really care. It was working earlier, so um, I'm now going to basically load up another world. So I've got, I've got like three worlds, I think, where I've got things in them. So we're going to load up another one right now. Okay, so I'm now in the world. Now this is actually this what it is it doesn't actually affect anything that's in the game. So I ran a bit of code that I wrote because I wanted to try out this multiple choice thing. And it says this thing where so if you do have an activating event, it can then activate one of like however many. And I I got I didn't know how to do so I copied up on the Co Kingdoms YouTube channel videos saying how can I do this? They said if you look on the um, lucky blocks one, it shows you how to do it. So I looked on that, I just looked at the videos and I worked out to do it. Just a sec. I'm home, I'm just recording. So, yeah, so I've watched that video and this is this one. So if I do slash, com slash compliment, hit enter, it says you look nice today and I can keep hitting enter to give you good. Have, have you been working on this? One other. You are so handsome. I shall. I did this. Up. This is quite complicated. So I did so on run command and if so the field run one and if the command equals complement and activate everything underneath. It. Now why did I did if the name equals Bomb Jake, it activates the variable give complement. But if the name is Bluey as cat, I think that's how you say it, which is a friend which I had on the server earlier. Um, if he had to leave, but 
Det är så här, inte så att jag kopplar in så här Så gillar jag att koppla dem, jag har något awesome med Magnum Jack Så en akt för att ge koppla dem är att aktivera den här metoden här Så ser du om jag klick Method Jag vet inte vad det är jag ska ha, men jag har skapat den And I added that in there because that's that. It basically I made it so this then you see it's here. So basically this activates this event here. And this activates the switch, so it's gonna randomly generate a case between zero and two. So case zero is says you look nice today. Case one says have you been working out? And case two says you are so handsome. So it basically picks one between zero and two and and then it puts that in the chat. Oh, that took me quite a while, so yeah. And now I have one more world, which is slightly more complex. So let's head over now. Okay, so here I am. Now this is slightly more complex. This is the dragon one. Basically, you can turn into an enemy. So one, I can fly, as you can see. I'm in survival while I'm flying around. If I left click, it shoots fireball, as you can see. And also, now this is my favourite one. If I, whenever I get close to a block that's within a five mile radius, it destroys it. This is so that that's how I'm, I've become an Ender Dragon. It's really cool. It could make a hole in anything. I think I've got some new slash heal. Yay! And it's a yeah, bomb. Dick has been healed. Give myself twenty three apples because that's a random number. But why not? Um. So that's something else I added in. Oh dear. Um, like I, I added that in. So obviously, like sometimes when you're shooting the firewood, and you accidentally shoot yourself. So I want a way to be able to heal. So I added in the slash heal command. It's a bomb kick has been healed, and it heals my health. Now I'm going to show you how I have done that. So first of all, the I, I'm going to show you what it looks like in here. Because whenever someone comes to Whenever I show someone, I put it in this code because it makes me seem like I'm actually good at coding. Okay, so, so on move, it destroys nearby blocks with a radius of 5. And full space, that means do the blocks drop. And I didn't want that to happen. So, full space, I just had to do that every, every time I destroy it, it destroy the block, it will drop and that would be really annoying. I've got on join. Set game mode survival equip item apple. I don't really know why that's when I was there. But I, this for reason didn't work, so that's why I'm creative, but whatever. Um I've got on left click set allow flight true. So like the first time you join in, you won't be able to fly, but if you left click you'll then be able to fly. And it also throws the projectile large fireball. And the slash heal basically just says on one command, if the command equals slash heal, it resets my health and broadcast the title chat color green and then it's his name and then it says has been healed as the subtitle oh yeah no, i forgot to show you another thing um if i if i type in day it switches it today that's very simple again um just if the message that i type in the chat e equals day then it will set the world time to 10 which means the sun's over there oops Go on, my footies, fly to the sun. Let's fly to the sun, 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 and slash. So those are things that I've made. So in the future, I will be like hopefully soon. I'm, I'm assuming I might I'll even try to do my next video. I am going to be teaching you how to use this because it's a really easy sip while we're going to be doing some coding i'm planning to try and do some more of this like i'm spending all my free time doing this because I'm, re I'm really enjoying it and yeah um a bit i also a bit of a quick update i don't mind just say um so next the week so I'm i want to uh, this should be uploaded on friday the 23rd of march no 24th friday the 24th of march and then basically the week after that is the week I break up from not I week week I break up from school and then I go on holiday. So the video if I upload then and I'll wait for a week and if I upload any videos while I'm there, it will probably be very short videos, but in the next week I'll try and upload some longer videos. Because obviously I might not be able to upload 
longer videos for that first week of the holidays. But yeah, um, if you want to go and check this out, this cocaine's out for yourself, I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's really good to teach you how to code. There's some, there's some courses that you can do, and you can get a 30 day free trial. And the best, what I, what I think is the best thing about this, is that you get your own free Minecraft, well, it's not exactly free, but you have to pay for it afterwards. But you get your own Minecraft server, and I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly show you this. If I go to server, you see, now that's my IP, bumpyjakey.eu.code.minecraft.com. Um, these, it has a whitelist, so only people that are on this list can join in. My Minecraft username. And yes, yeah, so it's really useful, you can switch worlds at any point, you can switch codes. Yes, yeah, so I'll leave a link to the Coquitlam's website in the description, as well as into our YouTube channel, because there's quite a lot of interesting videos there that, if you're not quite sure about it, you can go to that channel and you can check out the sort of things that they have. Apart from that, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at BumpyJake, and go check out my previous video, I think you might enjoy it. Apart from that, I'll see you all later. Bye!